Hey guys, welcome to another SaaS landing page teardown. Today we have Shopify, which uh, seems like they have a good page on the service, uh, but they really uh, they really don't. Uh, uh, the the hero is okay, where they say that this is the platform that uh, you know most e-commerce uh, companies use, um, you know, and that's great. They 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 show that millions of people use it. Uh, that's really good, but the, the the rest is like pretty pretty vague, right? So. Uh, this is like the power of brand awareness in SaaS, whereas they don't have to explain things properly because people already uh, think about, if they think about e-commerce and uh, like e-commerce tools, they think about Shopify. It's probably the first tool that they'll ever think of. There's so much brand awareness, they, they could probably get away with having a sign-up form and still convert just as well, right? Uh, so here's the problem with, with Shopify, right? So imagine if... You never heard of Shopify before, and you have an e-commerce. Imagine if Shopify is a new uh, a new player uh, or a player that is not as established, and people would have a ton of questions about it, right? Especially because Shopify does a ton of things. It has a POS system. It has uh, just checkouts. It has themes. It has um, you know different types of stores. Uh, it, it has like uh, plugins, all these things, right? So imagine if I if I come here, and what about selling, right? Uh, can I sell this? Um, like, can I set up my entire store on it? Do, does it only do the checkout process? Can I customize my checkout process? Does it do, does it do reviews? Do, will it slow down my website? Can I add it to my existing website? Can I have a, a custom domain? Like, can I can it work with POS and online? Uh, how do I manage inventory? All these like, I can come up with endless questions that people would have that when they come here, they assume Shopify does everything, right? And this is the problem. I go here just on the selling parts, like they answer nothing, right? And even if you go to the to that individual page, they still won't answer anything, right? Uh, they still won't answer all, all, all the stuff. When it comes to marketing the business, uh, what, what can I do here? Can I have my lists of uh, inventory going up on the Instagram um, uh, like stores that they have. I'm not sure how it's called, don't remember. Or on Facebook ads and all this stuff. I know that they do this, but if I were a customer that didn't know that, then what what does marketing your business uh, mean, right? It doesn't mean anything because it doesn't show me how it integrates with ads uh, or with Google search or whatever, right? Then manage everything. What, what ma does managing everything mean? Can I manage my entire inventory? Can I have a really solid... Uh, uh, like reports for revenue, what about sales, what about returns, uh, you know, what about online sales versus physical sales, uh, what about VAT charges, uh, all these different things. I have no idea what, what, they, what I can manage with this, right? All these endless questions that people will have that they're not going to be answered here, right? So the reason why I'm showing you this is because a lot of SaaS companies look at these big companies as, as, as like reference and inspiration. And this is like the d totally not what you should do, right? Just don't copy this because this is like super, super vague. Um, so what a website should do is kind of play a salesman. Uh, it's like a salesman, an online salesman, right? Where instead of being a sales, a sale, uh, doing sales on the call, it's just sales on the website, right? And what a good salesman does is addresses every single objection. And what they're doing here is they're not really addressing uh, anything at all, right? So they're not showing about the themes, about showing the website, about custom domains, working with existing websites, what, what can I manage, all the stuff, endless questions that I could have about Shopify, right? And then if, imagine if you had all these pages and people never heard of you, right? The, there's no way that this will ever work. They, it only works because they're like the go-to tool for e-commerce, right? So that's kind of the the like the, the, the overall theme of Shopify is they're pretty, pretty vague, right? So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tear down. Let me know what, what you think about this page in the comments. I think it's like really, really vague. So let me know what you think. And if there are any e tools in e-commerce that kind of do a better job at it, they're, uh, they're like an up and coming player that you might have know, uh, that, that you might know, right? So uh, if you're uh, wondering, hey, this guy looks like he knows the stuff, wondering how this applies to me. So if you're wondering that, just go to Cortez's design slash apply to figure out if I can help you or not. I want to make sure that I, I, I want to know if you're a good fit. I do have my sweet spot for clients where my strategy work best. And I only work with people that I'm really confident I can give a huge ROI on my services, right? So just go to Cortez's design slash apply. We'll figure out if you're a good fit. We'll figure out what are the tweaks we need to make on your website and on your funnel to make sure that you make as much revenue as you can out of the traffic you already have. 
or we squeeze 200,000 to 500,000 a year uh, uh, out of the website you already have. Um, and we can like just take it from there, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to DM me and, or email me and uh, looking forward to see you uh, seeing you on, uh, on a call, right? Cheers.